News breaking out of the White House moments ago, Neera Tannen will not move forward in her nomination. President Biden had wanted her to be director of the Office of Management and Budget. But she faced what was increasingly bipartisan opposition in this narrowly divided Senate. There were some complaints about comments she made on Twitter about politicians and other matters. President Biden has now released a statement that accepts Tannen's request to pull out, to withdraw out of this nomination process. The president adding that he actually looks forward to having her serve in another role in the administration. NBC's Shannon Pettypiece has been following the story and joins us now. Uh, Shannon, your view of this and the significance for people who may remember Ms. Tandon uh, from other administrations and being on television, but what else does this show about uh, the nature of this divided Senate's control over some nominees? Well, it shows the control of Senator Joe Manchin, who was really the um, you know first Democrat to come out against her nomination. The White House thought they could get some Republican support. All this talk of bipartisanship, though, did not pan out on this one. They were holding out hope that Senator Lisa Murkowski might come on and say that she would vote for Tandon. So without Joe Manchin, that could have given them uh, enough votes to get this nomination through. But no Republican support. They lost the support of this sort of swing vote moderate Democrat and Joe Manchin, who has a long history of, of disagreement with Neera Tandon. And so that has left them in the position of having to pull one of their nominations here, a, and a really significant nomination in the Office of Budget Management, given the state that the country is in right now. Now, you saw in the statement and you noted uh, they indicated there may be a place for her in the administration going forward. And that's something that I've been hearing from people close to this process, that if not now, there could be another job for her in the administration that doesn't require Senate confirmation. So another thing to continue to watch for. We probably have not seen the last of Neera Tandon, but this does leave them, in a sense, going back to the drawing board on OMB. We have heard a number of names speculated out there, but the White House has really not indicated who they might actually be putting forward for yeah. this nomination, at least as of this point. Yeah. And, and politics not always known for consistency, but uh, some of the Republican senators who say they were outraged by this uh, had famously and repeatedly insisted they won't look at Twitter, which is why they couldn't comment on the former president's tweets. Right. Yes. And I would say this really came down to Senator Joe Manchin, who is very concerned about budgets. That is one of his priorities. He has disagreed with Tandon and her organization on a number of issues going back a number of years. You know, I talked to someone familiar with Joe Manchin who said, you know, this isn't about him playing games or politics in any way. This is about him having fundamental disagreements with Tandon on a lot of issues. But without his support and without being able to pick up any Republicans, that essentially killed this nomination. Now, there are a couple other nominees still out there that you know, have some sort of a lot of Republican opposition. Um, Becerra, the Javier Becerra for HHS, uh, Deb Holland for um, Interior Secretary. So far, though, Democrats are lockstep on them. They're holding the line. So despite Republican opposition, if Democrats hold, those nominations should be going forward. Uh, Shannon reporting for us uh, outside of the White House tonight. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank a you. breaking story there. Hey, I'm Ari Melber from MSNBC. You can see more of our videos right here, or better yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel below. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you're here with us, and we appreciate that.